Yeah, come on, Candy. Let's go, Candy. Yeah, let's go, Candy. Let's get it. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I decided to do this spring look in both some turquoise and blue eyeliner. I also wanted to thank you guys so so much for making my spring haul reach 100 likes. I'm going to get my boyfriend really good. I just have to come up with a, like a really good prank. I also want to ask you guys like I see that like not every person comments and like it gets me so excited like I'm like oh there's a new person that comments like I notice when there's different people I notice um the real subscribers are always commenting so like I would like for you guys to comment down below like where you guys are from it's so exciting to me that like I have people from Puerto Rico and from different country and or state and I also want to say hi to my friend she is in college and in a different state anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like thank you for your support I really appreciate it bye guys bye. I'm going to start by using primer and then we're just going to dot it all over our face like always Spread it like if you had um, lotion. We're putting lotion on your face. And I like to get like my entire face. I don't know, I feel like it helps. The next thing that I like to do, because um, I never had pimples growing up, and now I'm starting to get pimples. And this sucks, now I know the struggle. Um, so like, I have like a couple right here, and I always get it around here. But I'm gonna use green. This one color correcting. I don't have a lot, but I still like to do that. I feel like it makes a difference. I just have like a lot of under eye bags, so I'm going to use yellow. Red, you? Yep, yellow, baby. Just go like this. I honestly feel like it makes a difference. This is why I do it. The next thing we're going to do is just dot it with our fingers. Next, I'm going to do some foundation. Um, the best way that I like to do my makeup, um, I just like um with a brush. I don't know. I feel like you get the most coverage out of a brush. Spray all over her face. I've been trying to get this spring makeup look. Um, trying to upload it for a while. But as you guys can tell, it's really hard having a three year old. Every video that I film, he's always in front of me. A funny mama. Right? Uh huh. Always in front of me. Always. If you don't like the coverage you're getting, you can always add another layer. But I think that's enough because we're also going to conceal. You guys, it's really hard to get my skin color. If you guys haven't noticed, my face is like way lighter than my body. So I usually go. I don't wear a lot of makeup except like once or twice a week but every time I don't know why every time I'm going shopping for new makeup um I don't have makeup on my face so like I tend to always try on the color like on my jawline and then I forget that like my face is way lighter than my body so it kind of looks off so like next time I should try I don't know probably in my arm or something and then next I'm going to use concealer so I'm just going to put a little bit because a little goes a long way the best way to do this um, is with a beauty sponge mm -hmm. so we are just going to blend it um, 
Have you guys noticed that I'm letting my eyebrows go, grow? My eyebrows are finally going to grow. I don't know if you guys are like me. Once I started to do my eyebrows, you know, after I turned 15, um, I got carried away and then like I ended up just doing it like a hobby, like a habit, until to the point that I had like no eyebrows. And since then, like, I don't bother to grow it back. Like, I grow it back and then I'm like, nah, I need to do my eyebrows and then I end up taking away too much hair. I like to put as much coverage as I can in my under eyes, so I'm gonna go in with the H Rewind and do a tiny oh, bit. My it's concealer. Oh, I like this, Mom. Hmm? I like this, Mom. And then I was just going to blend it out. Mommy eye? Yep, and mommy side. The more eye? And the other eye. Right? Uh -huh. I'm going to pour on some finishing powder. Like, I'm only going to use this in the areas that I put on my concealer. The rest of the face, I'm going to use the Fimi powder from Maybelline. So, I'm just going to put it everywhere. Everywhere. We are going to contour. And I just like to also put it right here. Under your jawline, and right here, I got this at Target. So I forgot the brand, um, and I love this, especially like um this blending brush. It's like the best. So like whenever you feel like you did like your contour, you pour your blush too harsh, you just go over this and this makes such a difference. I just love to use this type of brush because it applies like so good. You just have to be careful though because it could apply way more than you would like. Next, I'm going to do um highlight. I always get compliments about my highlight. I honestly always use two. And if you guys miss a product, um, you guys can always find it down in the description box. I noticed that like not a lot of people read the description box, and that makes me sad because I usually put like um some extra stuff. I love to apply um, the highlight of my nose with my finger. So the palettes that I'm using are from Way a while. So first, so we're just going to focus them more on the upper crease. And like we always do this in circular motion. If you have dark colored eyes, it makes your eyes stand out so much. A different color brown. Mama! Ah. I'm going to put it in the middle of my crease. Just blending everything together. I just like put some foundation. You guys can put foundation or like um concealer like over on the lid part just to clear everything up. You guys have like the smallest lids ever. I'm going to put this one. I'm just going to put it all over the lid. So I don't know if it's just me. So I got the um eyeshadow brushes from Real Techniques. I've not tried them, and I'm gonna keep trying them. And somehow, like I don't like them. I don't know if it's just me. I love the when white ones. Next, I'm going to use this color. We are going to apply it in our V line. And I'm going to use this real technique brush. And I'm going to use this orangey peachy color. I'm just going to 
define my crease. I'm going to do this like two or three times. Just um I could have like the perfect color that I was looking for. I'm going to use this total intensity. I did this in my haul the other day and like I was telling you guys how much I love it. So it's bomb, it's bomb. It's bomb. It's bomb. <laughs> Put it in the eye colors over eye. I'm using the L Lip Define um brush. But you guys, you do not you can use a brush for anything. You do not have to go along with whatever it says it's for. Because I'm really trying to add a color. Like now you guys are going to see so much color going on. And like seriously, it's going to make your eyes stand out so much. Next, I'm going to use a blue liner. using a turquoise color. And you guys can like totally stop here. I did this with just a blood liner, turquoise liner, and like I'll insert a picture or a video so you guys can see how it looks. It still looks really beautiful. I added the lashes just because um I I'm going to use the other eyeliner. I just want the eyeliner to like be on top of the lashes and also um what else did I do? I already did my eyebrows and the only thing that's left to do is like add a little bit of highlight. Not very much. What I'm gonna do now is use this essence um eyeliner. What I'm gonna do is put the eyeliner on top. <laughs> And I'm just going to connect the two colors together at the end. There you guys have it. I did a um, blue eyeliner on the on the top and then a turquoise eyeliner on the bottom. Coral corruption.